Hello everyone, my name is Alexey, and if you want to be a software engineer in a top company, you must have skills to solve live coding tasks, which include operations with error and matrices. As you may see on my screen, today we will solve the task about rotating 3x3 three three and other square matrices to 90 degrees. It's a common task for a front-end engineer position, and I've made this task on my interview to one of the Poland companies. I will explain to you how to solve this task and also in the end of this video I will show some additional variations of this live coding task. So please like and let's move to the code and escape matrix together. As I mentioned before we need to rotate the matrix 90 degrees and firstly we need to define two constants. These constants will display how much rows and calls will we have in our matrix. So let's do it. So const matrix rows equals to our source length. So it's our rows. One, one, two, three. Cool. Then we need to define our columns. Const matrix calls equals to source first element for example lens so as we can see in our first element we will have three columns one two three cool and then we need to create new array of arrays so, uh, so we need to follow immutability strategy and let's create new array of arrays and let's fill it uh, new from start and then we will fill it through four cycles and uh, further logic. So const result equals to new array. So it will be new array and it will have matrix rows length and we need to fill it with null. Then we need to map through this array and also fill uh, this array with arrays so we will create an array and then we need to create these arrays with initial value initial value will be now uh, so it will be map uh, new array uh, array now we can pass matrix columns and uh, fill it with now cool and that's it so as we can see now we have result and let's log our result node index js so now we have our new array of arrays uh, and let's uh, proceed with it and let's fill it with numbers to receive rotated matrix Okay, let's write our cycles and it will be two nested cycles because we need to iterate through our rows and then through our columns. It will be two nested cycles. Let's create it uh, for E. We need to iterate through matrix rows and then we need to iterate through matrix columns. And uh, here we need to write some logic and uh, which logic it should be. Let me explain you. So I have this Q diagram and as we can see, we will have some steps. For example, for filling our first column, we need to transfer row into column. Let's look at one. Uh, one had position zero, zero, and now it will have position zero, two had position zero, one. It will have one, two, three had zero, two, and it will have position two, two. We need to implement this stuff for each row. So let's remove it and let's move to our code. Uh, we need to fill our result. Result G. Then we need to pick element on the place our matrix rows minus one. Minus one because uh, length of our rows will be three but we can count uh, arrays 0, 1, 2, minus 1 and then minus our row, minus E and it will be equals to source I, G. So let's return our result. We can execute our code. Let's do it. So node index.js 
And as we can see, now we have our rotated matrix. All is okay. So 741, 852 and 963. Let me explain more deeply. Okay, let me explain you another time. We will have console log. I've prepared it with initial position of our number. So it's I and J. I is positioned by row and J is positioned by column. New position is J and matrix rows minus one minus position by row. And as a result, we will have a stringified array. So let's run this code, node index.js. And as we can see, we have initial position of 1 is 0, 0 and new position is 0, 2. Position of 2 is 0, 1 and new position is 1, 2. And uh, initial position of 3 is 0, 2 and new position is 2, 2. So we need to have constant second position and uh, change first position of our element. And we will have a rotated matrix, uh, as we can see its uh, right result and uh, this variant is acceptable on the interview. So I've promised you another two cool tasks and uh, let me show you. So after rotating the matrix 18 degrees, I received two another functions. It's rotate matrix to 180 degrees and rotate matrix to 270 degrees. And if you know how to rotate matrix to 90 degrees, you can easily do it. And one thing you need to do is just return rotate and in rotate pass rotated matrix and pass here source. Then you need to return rotate 180 and here just add 90 degrees so rotate and pass here source so we have rotated 180 degrees and rotated 270 degrees yes let's uh, run this code so node index.js and as we can see 287654 3, 2, 1. Uh, so it's valid rotation to 180 degrees. And the same for 270. So 3, 6, 9, 2, 5, 8 and 1, 4, 7. Also we can rotate our matrix to 360 degrees and ensure that all our functions were written in right way. So const rotate 360 equals to source and we need to return rotate 270 degrees and also add to it 90 degrees so just rotate and pass here source and let's um, log it so rotate 360 as we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we rotated our matrix to 360 degrees and return to initial position like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and that's amazing that's uh, showing us that we all did right Okay, in this video we look at how to rotate the matrix 90 degrees. This task is quite difficult and you may need to watch the video again in order to understand the solution algorithm. However, when you understand it, you will solve matrix problems and pass interviews without any problems. I personally knew before the interview how to solve matrix flip and therefore solved uh, this problem in 5 minutes. It was a success. So, please like, subscribe. Stay tuned, please follow my telegram channel and bye.